One of the biggest things I see people in the golf swing is they get up to the top and they get so excited they speed up almost the downswing. We're gonna show you today how to not rush the downswing and create a nice, fluid, smooth swing. Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Scratch Golf Academy. Today, we're gonna talk about how to not rush the downswing and create a nice, smooth tempo in your swing. You see the guys on TV, they swing it so silky smooth and you're like, how is it possible they're hitting it so far, it really doesn't look like they're swinging that hard. Well, that's kind of the beauty and the mechanics of how they've been able to figure out their golf swing. And you'll learn that it's slow, smooth, smooth is fast. That's kind of the mindset we're gonna have. You can have a nice, fa hard, fast swing, but if you're not making good contact in the center of the face, it's not gonna go very far. So a nice, slow, smooth swing with good contact, it's gonna reap way better shots out in the course, and it's gonna be a lot more repeatable too. So let's talk about this issue that I see a lot of people do. They get up to the top of the swing and one of the biggest things I see in my students is they're getting up to the top of the swing like this and they haven't even reached the top. And now, before they reach the top, everything starts to go forward. They almost start the downswing before their hands have reached the top of the swing. Now that's a big problem because if we don't let our hands properly set at the top, right, we don't want our lower body or anything else to start to go before we get to the top because watch what happens. We are going here. Say I start lower body first. Now my hands are really stuck behind. My body is way out in front and then you're probably gonna miss it out to the right, stab it into the ground, not anything good, right? So I want you to think of this drill right here. It's a little bit silly, one may say, but I think it's gonna really help you out. You're almost gonna feel a slight pause at the swing, but I like to do is think of a nice two syllable word in my head to like, Think of a nice smooth tempo you can even put a metronome here so i'm just going to use the word ice cream for right now i know it's a little bit silly but two syllables it works well so what i want you to think of in the first syllable of the word that is where you get the club to the top here now for the second syllable then you come through there's the slightest bit of pause in between the two syllables right so if i'm like ice cream right if i'm saying that word, there's a slight pause. I don't want you to rush the downswing where you're saying ice cream, right? That's that's way too fast. Feel a distinct pause. You don't have to do the silly two syllable word thing, but it, it allows you to have something in your head to at least feel like you're slowing down. More likely than not, even if you felt a pause at the top of your swing, you wouldn't be pausing in reality, right? You could say, okay, I'm gonna, you should pause at the top for one second. And a lot of people would think they're up here for eternity and then come through and they're really not gonna do that. It looks like a normal swing, right? So the two syllable word thing really helps you out and slows you down. You can even think of like a snapping motion, right? A nice smooth sort of rhythm and tempo that can help as well. But I want you to feel is nothing on the lower body starts until you have completed the backswing. So until you get to a nice top position right here, no weight has shifted, no hips have gone. You're waiting until you've got to the top of your swing, you're nice and good here, now you can come on through. There's almost a delayed reaction there. When you practice this, it might feel like you're waiting forever, but really feel like it's two separate parts. We're getting to the top here, and then now everything starts to go. If we start rushing things, now we're in a really poor position to make good contact. So nice and smooth, feel distinct pause, a distinct separation, now go. So we can try that, two syllable word if that works for you, or just a little pause. Here, feel the pause, no lower body has moved yet. Now go. Wasn't the best contact, but you don't even need to hit a ball for this drill. We're into the top, feel a pause, nothing on the lower body has gone. Now, go on and go through. Super important to feel distinct separation between backswing and downswing. It's gonna help you out a lot. So, full speed here. This is what it's gonna look like. Nice and smooth, we'll go one more. I'm really just trying to slow everything down. Another thing that I've seen that has helped me is deliberately trying to slow down my backswing because if I rush the backswing, especially the takeaway, the whole rhythm seems to be off. So slowing that down seems to help. Try one more. Slow, slow, slow. There we go, a little out to the right, but nonetheless, good contact. Good tempo is gonna come with practice, repetition, all that good stuff. If you find yourself moving too fast on the range, take a break, 
take a drink of water, slow yourself down. You're not gonna get any better by hitting four shots in a row. So give those things a try. Make sure to subscribe to Scratch Golf. We have a ton of good stuff on here to help you out for free. Check out my stuff over on that golf grind. I'll see you guys out here real soon. Oh,